Hey everyone, welcome to our farm. The name of our farm is Freedom Farms. The channel is named Freedom Farms. It should be in one of these bottom corners of your screen. You'll see it. Also down there, you're gonna see a button that says subscribe. If you love seeing farm work, if you love seeing, and not some corporation farm either. My wife and I started this farm about four years ago. Um, we both come from, well, I come from an agricultural background, worked on farms. When I was growing up, just here and there stuff, nothing, you know, we didn't own a farm. Um, worked on green farms primarily. Now, our farm is located in South Central Missouri. So it's primarily based off of livestock and hay. This is what we do. Now, needless to say, we help neighbors and neighbors help us too around here. So sometimes you may see some cattle mixed in, you may see some horses mixed in, you may see pigs mixed in. There's all kinds of animals that you may see mixed into our farm. But here at our farm, we raise sheep and our kids raise chickens. But I, I tell you all this because we're trying to reach a much larger population than just those that are our friends. They already know what we do. We want to reach around the United States or even around the globe. Show them what small farms do. Show them how important small farms are. Those of you that are here from the Alice Chalmers page, I posted these links on here. One, because today's video primarily deals with a 7045 and a starter issue that we had for a while, it's fixed. But I encourage you all to like this uh, channel as well. We use an Alice Chalmers 7045. That is our main tractor. That's our big tractor that runs our disc mower conditioner, that runs our baler. This year it also did our raking for our hay. However, next year, the 2020 season, we're actually going to use this little guy. This is an Alice Chalmers 5020 uh, four-wheel drive. Shouldn't have an issue pulling a hay rake. It's just a V-rake, eight wheels, or even a 10-wheel one. Should be all right. Our kids actually drive them. My son drives the 7045 a lot, obviously under supervision because he's only six years old. So I'll get him going. He can't reach the clutch pedals or clutch pedal nor the brakes. So he can't push them anyways. He probably don't weigh enough. He also can't shift it because it's too hard for him to do. But little things like that. I encourage you to come along with us, tag along, see what we do here. Help us to reach out to a much larger population than just those that know us locally, and even some friends that we've met throughout the, our mili or my military service. Help us to reach out. So in order to do that, please hit that like button down below on the video. Comment on this video in YouTube if you have questions. If you ask questions, we will answer them. Comment on there if you wanna see something new on the channel, something that we haven't shown before. Maybe you wanna see us cut hay, right? We haven't done that yet. We're gonna do that next year. It will be posted, but comment, interact with us. Tell us what you'd like to see. And then to top all that off, one more thing, if you could just hit that subscribe button, subscribe. And then if you want to be notified every time we post a video, hit that little uh, bell next to it and it'll notify you every time we post a video. If not, we do uh, post the video links on our Freedom Farms Facebook page. Post them every, we try to post videos every Sunday. A lot of times we're late. I'm a drill sergeant. I don't get a lot of time off. My wife works too at the local school. So we are very busy between our work and the farm. But we try to be on time. Like I said, we, we're late sometimes with videos. But you have to look at it from our world. I can't be late to work. I can't be late whenever it comes time to take care of animals, feed and hay and stuff like that. If the video goes up a little late, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be late with the videos and I do apologize for you all. But it's not gonna hurt an animal, an animal's not gonna lose a life over it. Um, you know, my wife or I don't threaten, or don't get threatened at work saying that we're gonna lose our job kind of a thing. So kind of understand our priorities. We do wanna do this farm channel. I have six more years until I get to retire from the army. So once we do that, then there'll be much more videos posted far more often. We're actually, this is the first week ever that we've posted two videos in one week. So all that's over with. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the video. The tractor is running great. We are super happy with it. It does wonderful. The starter made a huge difference in starting it. And the fact that it actually turns it over to start it makes another big difference. So thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the video. Gage, what are we going to do today? Fix the starter on the tractor. Let's go do it.
So we got our starter in. It uh, it took a little longer than we was hoping, but it's here. We put it in, and God willing, it's good to go, and we can get back to work. We got a lot of hay that needs to be unstacked, so we can put it out when we need to. We like to store a few bales in the barn. That way, whenever it snows or something like that, I don't have to deal with the tarp. Woo, it's dark in here. Shut the door. Ha! Wait. I guess we should open the door so we have more light, huh? Not very, not very bright in here. All right. <coughs> you want to hold this? So right now it's looking at me. Let's show you what on or what you're seeing. Hey, it's not on. Huh? It's not on. It's not showing anything. It's, it's pitch black. Oh, there. It's at 100%. Oh, that is. Alright. Why do we flip this gate? What? Why do we flip that door? <clears throat> so it doesn't roll back. Actually, we clip it because if the wind gets really strong and we have it open, the wind is going to come out of the south, the west, or the north. Right? The north and the east, it won't ever, uh, or sorry, the north and the south really won't hurt it. But the west, we'll grab it and it'll sling it off. And if it comes out of the east, it'll do the same thing. Chances of it coming out of the east are pretty slim. I hear MK. Oh. Tractor is it? Huh? Which tractor is it? The big tractor? Hey everybody, I know you're joining me from above this time. Um, this is my old starter. So this is the old starter. It's a direct drive style. Um, we just, this is the third one from the company that rebuilds them and I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I've checked my wiring, I've checked everything. Um, um, we, we decided to, to go our, our different ways. They gave me my, re, they're going to give me my refund. Uh, Napa worked all that out. The uh, Napa and St. Robert here is just awesome. They don't live, the owners actually don't live too far from us. So it makes it even more convenient. I can order a part and they can bring it home with them. I don't have to run to town. Um, and then this is my new starter. It's a gear reduction starter. It's a Delco Remy. 39 MT. Uh, I can't remember the exact part number, but I'll put it in the description. <coughs> It'll work on all Alice Chalmers 7030 series or above. So 7030, 7040, 7045, um, 7050, 7060, 7080. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and take this old one off, and then we will be ready to put our new one on. So just a couple of differences specifically. So if you'll notice, this has a nose on it. The new starter does not. I can't get out of here, but you can kind of see, right? The other things it has, this is a IMS, which I can't remember exactly what it stands for, something magnetic system. I don't remember. Anyways, <clears throat> there's a couple of different things this has. So, for instance, the motor on this one is a much smaller motor, but it turns much faster. Then it goes into a gear reduction, which obviously brings it to the normal uh, rotation speed that this engine requires to start, but it does it with less amps and less wattage. This uses 7.2 kilowatts. That uses 12... I think 12 even or 12.1 kilowatts, much different draw. Um, anyways, and then <clears throat> you're going to see here in a second, I'm going to run a uh, new ground wire. So this one grounded through the bolts into the frame. And this one will also do that. However, it has a dedicated ground back here as well. This right here is my dedicated ground. So I'm going to run a separate one. And I'm also going to, I think I'm just going to run new battery cables too. The battery cables that are on there aren't bad, but you know, they are old. 
they're 40 plus years old. You can see this has been taped a few times. So at this point, I think it's best just to go ahead and do it. But I'm going to keep those wires around just because as far as resistance, they didn't fail. They were actually pretty good. So we'll take it for what it's worth and take them off and change them out. And then we'll be ready to install the new starter. Actually, I think I'm going to install the new starter. Then I'm going to take the wires and switch them. That's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Gage, what are we going to do today? Fix the starter on the tractor. Let's go do it. So we got our starter in. It, uh, it took a little longer than we was hoping, but it's here. We put it in and God willing, it's good to go. And we can get back to work. We got a lot of hay that needs to be unstacked so we can put it out when we need to. We like to store a few bales in the barn. That way, whenever it snows or something like that, I don't have to deal with the tarp. Ooh, it's dark in here. Shut the door. Ha! Made it. I guess we should open the door so we have more light, huh? Not very, not very bright in here. All right. <coughs> here, you hold this. So right now it's looking at me. It shows you what I'm or what you're. Seeing. Hey, it's not on. Huh? It's not on. Yeah. It's not showing anything. It's, it's pitch black. Oh, there. It's at 100%. Oh, that is. Alright. Why do we put this gate? What? Why do we put that door? <clears throat> so it doesn't roll back. Actually, we clip it because if the wind gets really strong and we have it open, the wind is going to come out of the south, the west, or the north. Right? The north and the east, it won't ever, uh, or sorry, the north and the south really won't hurt it. But the west, we we'll grab it and it'll sling it off. And if it comes out of the east, it'll do the same thing. Chances of it coming out of the east are pretty slim. I hear MK. Which tractor is it? Huh? Which tractor is it? The big tractor? You do the. Hey everybody, I know you're joining me from above this time. Um, this is my old starter. So this is the old starter. It's a direct drive style. Um, we just. This is the third one from the company that rebuilds them and I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I've checked my wiring, I've checked everything. Um, I'm, we, we decided to, to go our, our different ways. They gave me my, they're gonna give me my refund. Uh, Napa worked all that out. The Napa and St. Robert here is just awesome. They don't live, the owners actually don't live too far from us so it makes it even more convenient. I can order a part and they can bring it home with them. I don't have to run to town. Um, and then this is my new starter. It's a gear reduction starter. It's a Delco Remy 39MT. Uh, I can't remember the exact part number, but I'll put it in the description. <coughs> It'll work on all Alice Chalmers 7030 series or above. So 7030, 7040, 7045, uh, 7050, 7060, 7080. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and take this old one off and then we will be ready to put our new one on. So just a couple of differences specifically. So if you'll notice this has a nose on it. The new starter does not. I can't get out of here, but you can kind of see. Right? The other things it has, this is a IMS which I can't remember exactly what it stands for, something magnetic system, I don't remember. Anyways, <clears throat> there's a couple of different things this has. So, for instance, the motor on this one is a much smaller motor, but it turns much faster. Then it goes into a gear reduction, which obviously brings it to the normal uh, rotation speed that this engine requires to start, but it does it with less amps. 
and less wattage. This uses 7.2 kilowatts. That uses 12, I think 12 even, or 12.1 kilowatts. Much different draw. Um, anyways, and then <coughs> you're gonna see here in a second, I'm gonna run a uh, new ground wire. So this one grounded through the bolts into the frame. And this one will also do that. However, it has a dedicated ground back here as well. This right here is my dedicated ground. So I'm gonna run a separate one. And I'm also gonna, I think I'm just gonna run new battery cables too. The battery cables that are on there aren't bad, but you know, they are old. They're 40 plus years old. And you can see this has been taped a few times. So at this point, I think it's best just to go ahead and do it. But I'm gonna keep those wires around just because as far as resistance, they didn't fail. They were actually pretty good. So we'll take it for what it's worth and take them off and change them out. And then we'll be ready to install the new starter. Actually, I think I'm gonna install the new starter. Then I'm gonna take the wires and switch them. That's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned. You all are not gonna believe how quick this thing cranks and how easy it is. I did start it uh, just a minute ago. I, I did have to give it a shot of ether, but it's pretty cold out here. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably 40 degrees in the barn, but it's been 
the tractor's been sitting for a while. It's like, uh, it's pretty close to a month. <laughs> so, I'm really happy with it. It's already lasted longer than the three rebuilds we had from the last company. Uh, you can see how the wiring is. So, right here is where you're going to put your ignition. Delco Remy 8200433 39MT. So uh, the 39MT is not part of the part number, that's just a model number. So again, part number 8200433. And then I guess the model or variation of it is the uh, 39 Mike Tango. Show you guys a, so you can see it. It'll say it's for a Mercedes Benz or a Freightliner or an 83 Cummins. But $167 shipped my door from DB Electric. Hey, it worked pretty good. I'm happy with it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was knowledgeable, and I, I hope it helped you if you're tracking down an issue with a starter on yours on your 70 or your 7000 series in general. I hope it helps, I really do. That's part of the reason that we do these videos. YouTube can be a great tool and we can help each other a lot with it. But regardless, if you did like the video, like it. Please like it in YouTube. If you have questions, comment below in the YouTube video. I will answer them personally. And then of course, if you feel like this channel is something that you're gonna enjoy, please subscribe to our channel. The YouTube algorithms make it to where the more likes, more comments, and the more subscribes that a channel has, the more popular the video becomes and they'll advertise it to other viewers. So please, help us to reach out, help us to reach the world. Let us show them what we mean by we grow more than the American spirit here at Freedom Farms. Have a blessed week. Thanks for tuning in. God bless. <laughs>